Hi, this is Mr. Williamson, and this is Taxonomy Prep Quiz number six, the last of the video quizzes to prepare, help you prepare for the taxonomy test. Uh, in this test, you'll need a uh, scrap of paper, something to write your answers on, um, and something to write with. Each uh, question, you'll have 30, each specimen, you'll have 30 seconds to answer the questions on that slide. Uh, remember, on the test, you'll have be 40 or 45 seconds to uh, at each station. Um, there are six specimens, one of which are five specimens, one of which you'll see twice, and there are 14 questions. Are you ready to begin? All right, here we go. Here's the first specimen and uh, first two questions. Next specimen, two questions. Same specimen, another two questions. Next specimen, two questions. Next specimen, three questions. Last specimen, last three questions. Okay, let's see how you did. The first specimen was a spider, um, and the question is, what phylum is this? Well, the answer that you're looking for is that it is an arthropod. Okay, so it's the kingdom Animalia, um, phylum, cord, uh, uh, phylum arthropoda. Um, it's not an annelid because annelids are segmented worms, like earthworms and leeches, things like that. And Echinodermata is the spiny-skinned organisms which is like the sea urchins and starfish and things. Mollusks are the clams, snails, uh, squids, and, and uh, octopus. And nematodes are roundworms that are not segmented. Okay. Um, what class is this? Well, the answer is A, arachnida. It's the spiders. Crustacea is the lobsters and the crabs. Shrimp also. Um, and it's, uh, insects are the ones that have uh, three body parts and six legs. Um, the spider in arachnid has two body parts, which is basically a head and an cephalothorax and eight legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So or all arachnids are will range in a body plan of two 
and eight. Two body parts, eight legs. The second one, a uh, specimen is a shark. And uh, phylum is uh, chordata because it does have a backbone. Um, it's not a mollusk, again, clams, snails, things like that, no. Arthropods, not jointed legs uh, with an exoskeleton. Econodermata, the spiny skins, and and lida are the, the segment of worms. The chordate is something that has a backbone or a, a spinal cord. And actually, if we want to get specific, if we talk about the subphylum, it would be vertebrata because it does have a, a does have a backbone technically, so it has a vertebral column. What class is this? Um, it's chondrichthys, F, cartilaginous bones. Amphibia is the frogs and the toads, uh, uh, salamanders, things. Reptiles are snakes, lizards, turtles, mammals have fur, um, which the shark obviously doesn't. Aves are the birds. And osteic, these are the bony fish. If, you, if I say fish, or any time you know, I say fish, and you think of a fish or picture it in your mind, you're probably picturing osteichthys. Chondrichthys is only the shark skates and rays. And this, in this case, a shark has cartilaginous uh, bones. Same specimen, but next two questions. Um, how many chambers in the heart? Okay, again, we go uh, fish have two. The amphibians and reptiles have three, and the birds or aves and mammals have four. So it's two for these two, uh, three for these, and four for those. This is a chondrichthys with a fish, so the answer is two. The answer is B. What kind of skeletal system does the does a shark have? Well, you can rule out external anything with an external skeleton is because it doesn't have an external skeleton. And it's things with external skeletons would be like uh, the, the arthropods, the, the insects and the uh, spiders and, and uh, crustaceans, uh, crabs and lobsters and things. So it has an internal skeleton. What makes the difference between a shark and a regular fish is the fact that it has cartilage. So the answer is B, internal skeleton, but it's made of cartilage like your ear or your nose. If it was in bony, then it would be osteichthys, but this is chondrichthys, so it's a cartilaginous skeleton. All right, we're talking about a dandelion here, um, and it wants to know what division this is. Well, the answer is C, angiospermophyta. Uh, we can eliminate some of the other ones, well, all of the other ones, because chlorophyta is green algae. It would be uh, green, uh, either filaments or sheets, and it would be aquatic. Bryophyta is like the, the mosses and the liverworts and things like that. Uh, it doesn't have a true root system. Phaophyta is the brown algae, that's kelp. And then conifera, it has the word cone in it, or part of the word cone, and that would be the, the pine tree, so it's not that. What habitat? Well, almost all plants. Uh, I'm sure there are probably one or two or several species that are not, but almost all of them are terrestrial. So these are all terrestrial for the, our test. It's not aquatic and they're not amphibious. So, yeah, in our test, just think from all that plants are terrestrial. The salamander, uh, what class? And this is A, it's an amphibian. It has to live in, it can live in water and, and land, um, but it has to be near the, the, the water. All organisms need water. This has to actually live in water to keep its uh, skin moist. Um, it is not reptilia. It is not mammals. Reptiles have scales like snakes and lizards. Mammals have fur. Aves have feathers. Um, Osteichthys is the bony fish, and chondrichthys, like we talked about, is the sharks, uh, skates, and rays. What habitat does it live in? Well, by definition, it's amphibious. They are terrestrial. They live on land, but they also have to live in the water, so it can't be either one of those. What order is this? We can rule out um, squamata, because that's the lizards and the snakes. We can rule out anura, that's the frogs and the toads, although it is in the class amphibia. And we can rule out chelonia because that's the turtles. So the answer is udila, and I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, and that's okay. Remember, you don't have to pronounce it or spell it, it's on the test. You just need to know what the answer is. So it's Ardella for the, the salamander. And then our final specimen is kelp, and again, what division? Um, it, it's it's uh, Phaophyta, brown algae, and I realize the photo doesn't look brown, but remember light waves are absorbed under uh, 
quickly in the water, and the only ones that are left are, are red and uh, excuse me are green and blue because the reds, your oranges, and yellows are absorbed. So brown algae has a tendency to look kind of yellowish under that color. It's not chlorophyll because that would be green. Bryophyta is the, the mosses. Angiosperms are like the flowering plants, like the dandelion we looked at, and conifers are the uh, pine cones or pine trees. What's the main pigment? Okay, you're just going to have to remember this. It's fucosanthins. Chlorophyll is green. Hopefully you know that. And keratin, carotenoids, or carotene, excuse me, carotenes are, are orange, kind of like the word carrot. So fucosanthins is the, the correct word here. Yeah, you're just going to have to learn that. There's sometimes you just have to memorize things, and there's not a lot of logic. You just have to know it. And what habitat? Well, obviously, if you look at the picture, it is marine, so it's aquatic. They're not terrestrial, and they're not amphibious. They have to live in the water. So um, there you go. That's the end of the quiz. Uh, hopefully you did well. If you have any questions, make sure you take a look at your study guide um, or ask me in class. Uh, I hope you're preparing for the test. Um, good luck. I uh, hope you're having doing well.